So most people are citizens of the country. Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines a citizen as a native or naturalized person who owes allegiance to a government and is entitled to the protection from it. Now, as a citizen, we have rights and duties that we are expected, that are expected by us and from us. As a citizen of the United States, we have the freedom of religion, the freedom of speech, the freedom to be treated fairly and equally as others that are citizens of the United States. If you want any more, take a look at the United States Constitution and our Bill of Rights. We also have duties and ab obligations to the United States. These are lined out in the U United States Constitution, and most countries have some type of constitution. Now, what are some of the duties and obligations that are given to us in the United States Constitution? Well, First and foremost, we should vote because without vo voting, you're not voicing your opinion on the way you think things need to be. It's important to vote. Um, to serve on a jury, it's kind of a duty of a citizen of the United States when called for jury duty to sit on a jury. Now, I've been called to jury duty, but I've never sat on a jury. Um, they told me I was too nuts. No, I'm just joking. Uh, actually, um, they wound up settling out of court, I guess, because I got a phone call that said the trial's been canceled. So I don't know what that means. Either they settled out of court, the guy took off and ran, and they couldn't find him, um, or who knows what. Maybe he disappeared and floated away into Never Never Land. I don't know. But we do have duties. We should obey the laws of the land. That's one of our duties. That's an obligation. We all know what happens if we don't obey the laws of the land. All right, now, real quick. Zeus wanted to say hello. Isn't he a handsome guy? All right. So with that being done and that being said, let's move on to our next teaching point.